I bet you didn't know how easy it is to test the security of your Android device. Welcome to channel don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. In today's digital age, our smartphones are treasure troves of personal information, ensuring their security is paramount. Metasploit is a powerful tool that can help. It's not just for professionals, even beginners can get started with it. The interface is user-friendly, and there are plenty of tutorials available online to guide you through the basics. It's a framework packed with exploits, payloads, and tools that make ethical hacking and penetration testing a breeze. With Metasploit, you can simulate attacks on your Android device to see how it holds up against various threats. Think of it as your Swiss army knife for assessing Android security. Whether you need to test for weak passwords, outdated software, or unpatched vulnerabilities, Metasploit has you covered. Metasploit simplifies the process of exploiting vulnerabilities. It automates many of the tedious tasks involved in penetration testing, allowing you to focus on analyzing the results and improving your security measures. It provides a structured environment where you can easily find and use exploits. The Metasploit console is intuitive and allows you to quickly search for and launch exploits. This makes it an invaluable tool for both seasoned security professionals and aspiring ethical hackers. Whether you're a veteran in the field or just starting out, Metasploit offers a wealth of resources to help you improve your skills. Whether you're interested in uncovering security holes in your own Android device or want to understand how hackers operate, Metasploit is the tool for you. By learning how to use Metasploit, you can gain insights into the techniques used by cyber criminals and develop strategies to defend against them. Let's dive in and explore the world of ethical Android hacking with Metasploit. So, grab your Android device, fire up Metasploit, and let's get started on this exciting journey into the realm of cybersecurity. Before we can start exploiting Android devices, we need to set up our hacking environment. This involves a few critical steps to ensure that we have all the necessary tools and permissions in place. Setting up a proper environment is crucial for both efficiency and security. First, download and install Metasploit on your system. Metasploit is a powerful and versatile tool used by security professionals and hackers alike to identify, exploit, and validate vulnerabilities. It's an essential part of any hacker's toolkit. You can find the installation instructions on the official Metasploit website. The site provides detailed guides for different operating systems, ensuring that you can get Metasploit up and running regardless of whether you're using Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. Once Metasploit is installed, you'll need an Android device to use as your target. This device will be the focus of your exploitation efforts, so it's important to choose wisely. This can be a real device or an emulator. Emulators are particularly useful for testing and development because they allow you to simulate different Android environments without needing multiple physical devices. If you're using a real device, make sure you have the necessary permissions to access it. This typically involves enabling developer options and USB debugging on the device. These settings allow your computer to communicate with the Android device for testing and exploitation purposes. For an emulator, you can use Android Studio's built-in emulator or a third-party option like Jenny Motion. Both options have their own advantages. Android Studio's emulator is integrated with the development environment, while Genomotion offers more advanced features and better performance. With Metasploit and your target device ready, you're one step closer to exploring the world of ethical hacking. Ethical hacking involves using your skills to identify and fix security vulnerabilities, helping to protect systems and data from malicious attacks. In the next section, we'll learn how to identify vulnerabilities in Android devices that we can exploit using Metasploit. This process involves scanning the device for weaknesses, analyzing the results, and selecting the appropriate exploits to use. By understanding the vulnerabilities, we can better protect our systems and improve overall security. Metasploit offers a wide range of modules and tools that can be used to exploit different types of vulnerabilities. These modules are regularly updated to include the latest exploits, ensuring that you have access to the most current information and techniques. It's also important to stay informed about the latest developments in cybersecurity. Reading books, following industry news, and participating in online forums can help you stay up to date with new threats and mitigation strategies. 
Networking with other professionals in the field can provide valuable insights and opportunities for collaboration. Attending conferences and workshops can also help you learn from experts and stay ahead of emerging trends. As you prepare for Android exploitation, it's crucial to ensure that your own network and systems are secure. This includes setting up firewalls, using strong passwords, and regularly updating your software to protect against known vulnerabilities. Running regular penetration tests on your own systems can help you identify and fix vulnerabilities before they can be exploited by malicious actors. This proactive approach is a key component of effective cybersecurity. Developing custom scripts and tools can also enhance your exploitation efforts. By tailoring your tools to specific targets, you can increase the effectiveness of your attacks and better understand the underlying vulnerabilities. Finally, documenting your findings and creating detailed reports is essential for sharing your knowledge and improving security practices. These reports can be used to inform stakeholders, guide remediation efforts, and contribute to the broader cybersecurity community. With a solid foundation in place, you're now ready to dive deeper into the world of Android exploitation. In the upcoming sections, we'll explore advanced techniques and tools that will help you become a more effective and ethical hacker. Stay tuned as we continue our journey into the fascinating world of cybersecurity. Now that our hacking environment is set up, it's time to identify vulnerabilities in our target Android device. Vulnerabilities are like open doors in a software's code that hackers can exploit. We can use various tools and techniques to find vulnerabilities. One popular method is using a vulnerability scanner like OpenVS or Nessus. These scanners automate the process of finding common weaknesses in systems and applications, including Android. Once the scanner finishes its job, it will provide a report of all identified vulnerabilities. This report is our treasure map, guiding us to potential entry points in the target Android device. Armed with the knowledge of vulnerabilities, we can now use Metasploit to exploit them and gain access to the target Android device. Metasploit is a powerful tool in the hands of a skilled cybersecurity professional. It allows us to take advantage of the weaknesses we have identified and turn them into entry points. This process is both an art and a science, requiring a deep understanding of both the target system and the exploit being used. This is where the real fun begins. The thrill of the hunt, the excitement of the chase, and the satisfaction of a successful exploit all come together in this moment. It's a blend of technical skill and creative problem solving that makes this field so fascinating. Metasploit offers a vast library of exploits, each tailored to a specific vulnerability. This extensive collection is constantly updated by a community of cybersecurity experts who are always on the lookout for new vulnerabilities and ways to exploit them. The library includes exploits for a wide range of systems and applications, making it a versatile tool for any cybersecurity professional. We need to choose the exploit that matches the vulnerabilities we identified in the previous step. This requires a careful analysis of the available options and a deep understanding of the target system. Each exploit is designed to take advantage of a specific weakness, so selecting the right one is crucial to the success of the operation. Once we've found the right exploit, we need to configure it. This involves setting various parameters to ensure that the exploit will work as intended. The configuration process can be complex, requiring a detailed understanding of both the exploit and the target system. It's a critical step that can make or break the success of the operation. This usually involves setting the target IP address, payload, and other options. The target IP address is the specific location of the device we are trying to access. The payload is the code that will be executed on the target device once the exploit is successful. Other options may include specific settings for the exploit or additional parameters that need to be configured. With the exploit configured, we launch it and wait. This is often the most nerve-wracking part of the process. We watch the console, waiting for signs that the exploit is working. It's a moment of anticipation and excitement, as we hope that all our hard work will pay off. If everything goes well, the exploit will run on the target device, giving us access. This is the moment of victory, when all our efforts come to fruition. 
we have successfully turned a vulnerability into an entry point, gaining access to the target device. We can then use this access to gather information, install malicious software, or take control of the device. The possibilities are endless, limited only by our imagination and technical skills. This access can be used for a variety of purposes, from gathering intelligence to disrupting operations. It's a powerful tool in the hands of a skilled cybersecurity professional.